Hello there everyone, and welcome to another episode of Dragomania Legends. We have finished in number 481 since I haven't been home. Yes, a lot has happened, and there's only 11 hours left on the event. And I have not done this level yet, so I doubt we'll be getting the Jingle Dragon, which is a shame. But go away, farm friends. I've been busy with Christmas stuff, and I haven't been at home for like three days, so I'm very sorry. But before I start rambling, let's open up this cute little egg here. And we should have got this dragon a long time ago, but this is actually the Stardust Dragon. Legend has, legend has it that a pinch of Stardust can make a person fly. If that were true, this trainer's whole house would be floating from all the st Stardust Dragon's shedding. That's pretty cool. We got this guy, which takes like an, a day and nine hours to hatch, which is crazy. But I really don't like the design of the baby, even though its eye is really cute. So we might as well feed up this guy here. Yeah, level seven should be enough. But the Stardust Dragon's a pretty widely used dragon from what I can tell. Lots of people like it. I can see why. It has Light and Shadow and Void. I'm not really a fan of the Light or the Void, but it's personal preference, really. But this dragon looks pretty cool. But uh, there we have it. And there's actually a new Dragon of the Week, for those of you that don't know yet, and it's actually the Sulphur Dragon. So there's a chance to breed the Sulphur Dragon when using the Boiling and Mist Dragons. Well, we might as well try it while we're here, right? So we've got our boiling, and the mist is this void one here, and that is not the dragon that we're after. Six hours is not long enough, unfortunately. But along with that, there's still three days and twelve hours left to get the reindeer dragon, so I suggest going out while you can, really. And I honestly thought that the Christmas event would be over by the time I got home, but apparently not. I mean, it's a shame that we're probably not going to be getting that Jingle Dragon, but, well, we tried, right? I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just buy all the parts necessary for the Jingle, but I don't think it's worth spending like £60 worth of gems just for him. But we got all of our other Christmas Dragons, so I'm pretty happy with that. I got lots of presents that kind of make up for ha not having the Jingle Dragon in the end. I mean, I said that we would be getting it, but I left a day earlier and came back a day later than I expected. So, that's a bit poopy. But, at least we got our dragon today. And let's put some spring cherries in here. And, like you saw, we got demoted in multiplayer since I didn't even play it for, like, so long. But... We don't have many fights left until we get to the steampunk dragon, so why the heck not go on it right now? We still have five dragons that we can use here, so let's go! Pretty much. Um, but I haven't been... Like, I haven't made a video since Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day's midnight. Going into Christmas Day. So I hope Christmas was fun for all of you guys. And you got lots of fun stuff, lots of good presents. I mean, I got a tablet, I got clothes, I got lots of penguin clothes. What else could I ask for? And if you hear my bird, that's because he's downstairs and he's going absolutely insane. Because I haven't been home for a little while. But I wish these guys would just take out the other ones so that this fight go by quicker. And if my voice is dead, then I'm sorry. I don't know, I, I just don't feel right. It's probably from all the stuff I've been doing over the last few days. But we might as well keep making our way through here. If we had a few more friends, we'd easily be able to make it to the end of the map today. But unfortunately, that's not the case for us. I mean, it's still not letting me remove people off of my friends list, even if I remove them off Facebook, so that's a little bit not very good. But I mean, having five level 70 dragons is pretty okay. 
for now at least. And we have more than enough portal gems to do this as well. By far. I mean, I don't do the battles on this game anywhere near enough to really ever get rid of enough. But this fight should be pretty easy, just two level 60 is it? Yeah, two level 60 planet dragons. But we're only 10 levels ahead now with these dragons that we're hiring, so almost definitely that the light and shadow dragons on the heroic map are going to be like the same level if not higher. Look at that, 3.2 million damage and we do like 700,000 max. 23 million. That is what I like to see. A city below. But I'm getting excited because we're actually going to get that steampunk in tomorrow, actually. I mean, it'll be late tomorrow, but tomorrow nonetheless. That's a pretty cool thing to come back to as well. And then out comes the Gave Dragon. However you say it. My eyes are really hurting looking at the screen. But there we go. We got part of quest complete as well. But there's like four battles left until the end. It's like we're just there, but not quite. I don't know what my bird's doing. I'm just hearing like erratic wing flapping noises coming from downstairs. I wish I knew what was going on. It's kind of creeping me out, to be completely honest with you. But, Badoom. Take 27 million damage to your face and see if I care. So, like I said, we got four more fights to go. Uh, but to revitalize these, it'd be 60 gems, so it's really not worth it. So I'm not even going to bother with that. Because that'd be 240 gems worth to finish that today. So we might as well just be patient and wait it out. But this steampunk dragon should have about a day's worth of hatching time. That's what I'd figure, at least. And we can upgrade our Void Temple now, which is crazy good for us. Uh, we don't need the Metal Temple, we don't need the Fire. But I think it's about time we upgraded some more Shadow and Light Dragons. So, you know what? We have a Stardust now. Unless we have another level 20 Emperor. We have another level 20 Emperor so we can do him or the Stardust, but you might as well do the Stardust. As much as we can at least for now. And we got some food in the hatchery as well. But upgrading these temples is taking forever. There we go. And he's straight to level 20. He, she, thing. If you want to call it. But, I mean, we have all of these temples finished that we need. Well, that's going to take 20 hours to upgrade. Uh, but literally the only other one that we need is that Shadow Temple. So two more dragons away. And then we finally do not have to worry about wasting all of our food on other dragons anymore. Thank God for that. And someone on the last video said, how do you get so many friends? This isn't that many people, to be honest, but you just add people that are in Dragomania groups. That's it. <laughs> that is literally all that I can suggest you doing. And we don't need to watch any movies. But, you know, just for the fun of it, since I haven't been on here for a while, let's just give it a try. 35 minutes. That's not quite it either, and that's the rain dragon, but yeah, that definitely didn't work out. Um, 
But that sulfur dragon's pretty cool, and it's a dragon that's been out for a while now, but it's only just hit Dragon of the Week. That's pretty cool. But in 35 minutes, I will come back off camera, but I'll come back and give that another try. Um, we might even need to start doing this soon. Like, if we upgrade our temples, then we could do that, or we could just start leveling up our main team, which is probably what I would prefer, since they've been all stuck at level 40 for so long, haven't you? Poor thing. Apart from that, I don't think there's any promotions going on anymore. There's the Planet Dragon as normal, the Eagle, Blue Flame. Yeah, these are all the old ones. Because there were a lot of sales on just before Christmas and during. But it looks like they're over now. Which, that sucks if you were thinking about buying any. But waited a little bit too long. And people said that they were farming gold off of doing this boss fight and the heroic mode final boss. I don't know how you managed to do that. There you go. And the holy dragon's still up for grabs in the dungeon, if that's your thing. Oh, uh, we already got it. Didn't we snap? It's like snap, crackle, and pop. But my voice, to say I've barely spoken, is killing me. What's with that? But, I think that will do it for now. Uh, I'll probably be back next time when we finish off the heroic mode boss and get the steampunk and we'll see what else happens in the meantime but I have like 200 plus messages to go through I have so many notifications on everything and some random guy from Spain tried to hack into my Microsoft account and then they perma banned him so good job whoever you are Mr. Spanish man you have now destroyed yourself by trying to hack into my account so good work um, but I will be back next time. Good luck, everyone. If you haven't got the reindeer, just give it a few more tries, and I'm sure you'll get it. Just like we did quite a bit ago. But until next time, have fun, everyone, and I will see you then.